Hey, good afternoon, or good morning, wherever you are, it doesn't matter. I wanted to show you guys the element dysprosium. So, you can see it's a very shiny metal that uh, takes these really weird um, broccoli-like shapes. Like, it maybe looks more like a tree, but uh, that's because... When it's purified past 99%, it um, just hardens like this from its molten state and branches out into these um, forms like this. This is this form that you're looking at is the dendritic type. And this is the um, regular um, lump dysprosia. Like these are cubes of dysprosium weighing 8 grams each. And they sound like a metal. They sound like pieces of metal moving back and forth. But as I showed you previously, um, I um, about a minute ago, I was shaking these around. And you heard that sound, right? So this form of dysprosium sounds very hollow. I don't know, like, maybe that... I don't know why that is. It relates to how holmium makes the same sound. Can't really hear it. Let me put it up close. Yeah, you can kind of hear it. But dysprosium has a more noticeably hollow sound. And what's special about this metal is that it's just hard to get at. That's how it got its name. So dysprosium got its name from the Greek word dysprositos, which means hard to get at. And it's just beautiful. And I just wanted to mention that I made a video about dysprosium five months ago, but I didn't dive too much into it. And I'm here to explain more about it, which I just did. And um, this is also a very soft metal. You can... um bend one of these strands pretty easily. I think um, other spots you can do it on, like maybe um, some of the spots where you have one of these little things poking out, you can bend easily. Yeah, this one you can uh, twist around pretty easily. Um, Holmium does the same thing, except it's a little bit harder. I explained that in a video. Well, anyway, there's dysprosium. <laughs>